Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. This is going to be a cook with me vlog showing you guys some of the behind the scenes footage from when I was preparing all of the food for Zaya's third birthday party. I've already uploaded a video on how we made all the decorations for the party and the actual vlog for the party. So if you haven't seen those two videos, be sure to check those out. But this is just another little extra video showing you guys what we did for the food because you guys requested it. So I'm going to show you guys how we did like the caramel apples and the birthday cake and just some things like that so if you want to see how we made this stuff then just keep on watching okay, so it's the day before the party it's friday the party is tomorrow at noon my mom just got back from the grocery store and got all the food drink type stuff and we're going to be making a few things and kind of assembling a few things so we got popcorn you gotta have like the carnival theme snacks so popcorn these circus animal cookies are gonna be some of the snacks. We're also gonna be doing candied apples. So she got these little mini apples, the sticks, the caramel for that. And then we got all this fruit in here. Grapes, blueberries, raspberries, cause we're gonna make fruit skewers. So we have kind of like separate food for like the kids and the adults. So the kids are gonna have corn dogs, pizza bites, cookies, popcorn, all this type of stuff. But then the adults are gonna have more so like regular adult food. And then also today I have to decorate the cake. So we've got sprinkles. I'm gonna make buttercream icing and just match it to the colors of the party. And I'm gonna do some piping on the cake. We got the cake pre-made just like we did last year for her unicorn cake. So we wouldn't have to be baking and all that stuff, but it's just a plain white cake. And then I'm gonna like do decorations. Oh, we got cotton candy. That obviously goes with the theme. Um, my mom thinks that we should put little <laughs> little things of cotton candy in these little cups to like serve it, but cotton candy is like, this is, like cotton candy dissolves into nothing, so this is like not <laughs> Exactly, a and it's pure sugar, so don't yell me much. We're also getting like party trays of like sandwiches. vegetables, sandwiches, that type of stuff for the adults. So that'll already be like ready made and done. Right now we're cutting up fruit to make some rainbow fruit. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now we're cutting up some fruit to make rainbow fruit <laughs> skewers. <laughs> which is hard for me to say for some reason. So we have grape, blueberry, kiwi, pineapple, orange, and strawberry. All the colors of the rainbow. And we're gonna use these sticks to make skewers. Okay, so I'm gonna start assembling grapes and the blueberries and then we're waiting on the kiwi so I'm just gonna wait oh <laughs> stab me that is a pretty thing mm -hmm. Pinterest is good for something <laughs> that's cute that is a pretty thing <laughs> we don't have enough oranges Oh, well, she told oh, me that. Oh, no, I told 20. her I only do 20. Well, we can. Sorry. Let me see. I wasn't coordinated, but right? Yes. I mean, we could skip the oranges on some of them, I guess. Oh, the oranges are so pretty. Mm. Ta da! Wait. <laughs> uh, don't mind the ones that have tangerines yeah. instead of oranges. We ran out of oranges, but that's okay. <laughs> Next up, candied apples. So we got little baby apples. What kind of apples are these called? Galas. Gala, baby galas. So they're little serving sizes. I washed them off. I'm taking the stems out. Daisha is unwrapping individually wrapped caramels. Because <laughs> we're just going to melt down this stuff in the microwave and dip them in there. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Chocolate factory. <laughs> I like to add a stroke. Each in the bag is supposed to do five regular size apples, so. So, after you dry them off, put them in this bag and put them in the freezer for a couple minutes. Just to help it go there. Oh, you're just going in so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going 
You're doing it at the wrong angles. <laughs> try it like, try it like this. I am doing that. You're doing it like this. I'm doing it like this. Oh. Like pushing it in. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna make sure that they stand up. Yeah. Like this one doesn't stand up. Not to get some caramel on it, but that one is kind of lopsided. Mm -hmm. This yeah, seems a bit a difficult. Bit. I'm just gonna dip it like up to there. Spin it off. Let it drip down a little bit this way. I think you let it harden a little too much before you went on the sprinkles, because was it not sticking? It doesn't look bad. It does. But, okay, let me get it off something. She told us to scrape from the gift. Yeah, and it really just needs to be the sides, not the very bottom. Ooh, there we go. Good. That's how it's done. Seems like such a stressful kind of event. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Cute. So how many times have you made caramel apples? Never. <laughs> this is my first time making caramel apples. Comment down below, do you say caramel or caramel? I don't know how you're gonna comment that down below. I feel like I switched back and forth. How I pronounce it. Ta da! Nice, cute little caramel dip, sprinkled, covered, covered, sprinkled, covered apples. Now I'm making homemade buttercream frosting, which is going to be helping me to decorate the cake and also to decorate some cupcakes that we're also making, gluten-free cupcakes for those of the children who have gluten intolerances at the party. <laughs> I actually have a gluten intolerance myself, but I just haven't been caring lately. Um, so I'm mixing up butter, sugar, and then I'm gonna use food coloring to do some custom colors that will match the color scheme of the party. So, Daisha, what are you working on? I'm working on these gluten-free cupcakes. <laughs> Please edit that out. <laughs> let's see, one third cup of melted butter. Now, let's get to mix. Now, let's get to mixing. <laughs> Okay, Whoa, Lord! Slower than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That's the slowest setting. What am I doing? Do? Disaster. Okay, I need to like pre mix it a little bit with something else. Two blue and two green. Because you're going to see how dark you want it to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hard to miss. Perfect. <clears throat> you tired? <laughs> I'm trying to grip this little spoon. My creation. They're perfect. Gluten free. So this is the cake topper that 
we bought off of Etsy. Somebody made this from scratch. So it's just made out of like foam and little plastic horses and she painted it to our specific color scheme. Now Raven's gotta figure out how to decorate this cake. So stripes are the main thing because that's what makes it look carnival -y. And all the carnival cakes that I saw on Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest have stripes going on the sides. I don't want to put this on so I can see what I what do I'm it. Doing. I mean, it's going to be put on tomorrow anyway. So I was going to do like with the blue thicker, like just go like this. Mm hmm. Go <laughs> like this. Okay, <laughs> change it. What's your pet phone? And then, like with the pink, like maybe I'll just do some something around the edge. And then at the bottom, maybe. A lot of the cakes have like triangles or like diamond shapes, but it's a lot That's straight lines. This is beginner version. Here goes nothing. Don't get too close together, because then you have to be do so many of them. Well, I was just gonna make it equally spit like. Do you have like a popsicle stick you can use to? To like score where you need you want them to go so basically i heavily cheated when it came to making this cake because i didn't even bake the cake i ordered the cake from the grocery store i just asked for a plain white two-tiered cake so it came like this and then i ordered the carousel cake topper off of etsy like i said so i had somebody else make it for me i mean i could have made it myself if i would have had time i can kind of see how she made it with just like gluing some foam together and getting the little plastic toy horses and she used some straws and some ribbons so it's definitely something I could have made but I just didn't have time so I was glad that I ordered it and so really all I had to do was put the icing on the cake to make everything match together I was a little disappointed in my icing colors because I wasn't able to get them to come out as bright as I wanted to really match the cake topper so they were a little bit muted and pale but I was like whatever it's close enough and then I basically just freestyled the whole cake I drew some stripes on there and some little Little wiggly lines and then I tried to draw some little diamonds and triangles threw some sprinkles on it you know just call it a day I was so tired by the time I was doing this cake from making all the decorations and doing everything else with the party this was like the last thing I was doing and um, maybe I shouldn't have saved it for very last but you know what I think it came out pretty decent wow wow gourmet professional okie dokie here's my finished product i'm not as proud of it as i was of the unicorn cake <laughs> because of all the straight lines that are not straight give it the full effect but just like don't touch it but just like balance you know what i mean like hold it above it because oh. it's wet so it's like so you can get the idea with the cake topper on it and also just the colors don't exactly like the pink i wish the pink was a little bit like the pink icing was a little bit brighter to match but you know what it it's gonna be good. all right that's the it best i could have did i added the little golden star sprinkles to oh, tie in the gold that looks that's good, really right? cute just not happy with the triangle Girl, nobody looking right. close enough to see if they're straight i've seen some see? professionals don't do get that good that's gonna be that's so perfect. cute we got a cake this size custom made for uh, Zaya's first birthday party, mm -hmm. it was over three hundred dollars. You know, you saved two hundred dollars, sis. <laughs> ching ching. Yeah, if you want to save money and do it yourself, this is how you can do it. Order a plain cake, ice it yourself, I but mean, it's gonna be wiggly. Yeah, you could bake the cake if you were confident enough to do that. We're not confident enough to actually bake the cake, but so yeah, we're just gonna leave the topper off for now because it's too tall. We'll put it together on the day of the party and. That'll be the cake. I do not have enough icing to finish these. The icing is melting. Yeah. That's why I didn't even try to do actual swirls. Just enough to cover the top and then just put the sprinkles on it, I guess. I was able to squeeze out barely enough leftover icing from the cake to very crudely ice these gluten-free <laughs> cupcakes. I wasn't able to do the cute little swirls because we didn't have enough icing and the buttercream is melting, so it wouldn't hold the shape. But when all else fails, just throw some sprinkles on it. And these cupcakes are the last thing we need to make 
for right now. Everything else is pretty much assembly and just stuff that needs to be, you know, heated up or whatever tomorrow. Okay, we're finally done. We got the candied apples, we got the fruit skewers. I cannot say that for the life of me. Yes. Candied apple, fruit skewers, gluten-free cupcakes, the birthday cake is decorated. Um, those are the things that we need to actually do. Tomorrow we're gonna heat up some corn dogs, heat up some pizza bites, lay out some party trays of sandwiches. My mom's gonna mix together some sangria. We're gonna put the actual snacks, like the popcorn and the cookies. We're gonna put them in cups and line those out. We're gonna do something with the cotton candy. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. But this is all we have to do in terms of prep the day before. So as I said before, I already uploaded the video on how we did the decorations and the prep for the party. And I already uploaded the actual Actual vlog from the actual party if you want to see how everything came together and how everything turned out if you have not seen those videos yet I will link them up in the cards and down below for you guys but that's it for this video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye